Be bold, but know how to pay for your ideas. Words of wisdom from former President Obama to a group of new Democratic lawmakers. Correspondent Peter Ducey reports on how the advice was received on Capitol Hill. The Democrat who won on a promise of hope and change just told Democratic House freshmen he hopes they change their approach. Barack Obama huddled with House freshmen, and according to the Washington Post, quote, he said, we as Democrats shouldn't be afraid of big, bold ideas, but also need to think in the nitty gritty about how those big, bold ideas will work and how you pay for them. 44's advice resonated with freshman Congresswoman Katie Hill. He told us just a lot of advice about really kind of sticking to the reason that you ran for office in the first place. But for Democrats running for president, the pricey progressive pitches keep coming, like a plan to give every teacher in America a $13,500 raise for $315 billion over 10 years. We're going to pay for it by uh, adjusting the, the estate tax. Mm -hmm. um, right now, the, the, it's on, only $11 million and up, and we need to lower that. Another popular progressive plan actually made it to the Senate floor today for a procedural vote, the Green New Deal, which would cost trillions a year to implement. Mitch McConnell says he was just giving presidential candidates in the chamber a chance to support a campaign trail staple. No senator voted in the affirmative. But the vote was never expected to pass. Now suddenly they want to vote on the Green New Deal, we will not fall for this stunt. Gillibrand voted present. So did every other Democrat running for president. Pretty obviously a vote present today is a vote in favor of the Green New Deal. Green New Deal sponsor Democratic Senator Ed Markey didn't think the resolution was ready. We will not allow the Republicans to make a mockery of our democratic process. But there was nothing Markey could do to stop Senator Mike Lee from taking the floor with a huge photo of Aquaman. I draw your attention, Mr. President, to the 20-foot impressive seahorse he's riding. Under the Green New Deal, this is probably Hawaii's best bet. When critics pointed out that eliminating air travel or maybe even meat could be unfeasible, Democrats running for president jumped to defend the Green New Deal. But today, none of them voted to advance it. So the Green New Deal resolution earned zero votes in the Senate, just 60 short of the 60 it needed to advance. John? <laughs> Peter Ducey for us tonight covering that. Peter, thank you.